All right, guys, we concluded our arrow test, and forgive me for looking down at my notes, but there's a whole bunch of numbers here and data that we crunched. Um, just spoiler alert for people that don't want to watch the whole video, uh, we're going to definitely go with the victory arrow this year. The uh, RIP or RIP TKO performed the best in almost every single category. Um, the tolerances of this arrow were insanely good, um, which was surprising. I, I really, I've been shooting the Rampage Black Eagle the last few years, and I thought that, you know, that was going to be the best, but it, it really wasn't even close. Um, so what I did is I bought three half dozen of each of these arrows, um, and we got them from random places all over the country to get a real random sample. I bought the Gold Tip Airstrikes, the Black Eagle Rampage, and then the Victory Rip TKO. And all of those arrows are pretty close in weight, grains per inch. Um, the Gold Tip is 8.5, the Black Eagle is 8.7, and the Victory is 8.8, .8, so really close. They all have the same inside diameter, a .204 inside diameter. The gold tip is the thinnest outside diameter at 0.262, followed by the black eagle at 0.264, and then followed by 0.266 with the, with the victory. Um, what we did is in our test, we took the extreme on each end, the highest number and the lowest number, and cut those out, took those out of the equation. So we really had 16 arrows for the sample. Um, the gold tip, as far as the weight tolerances between all the 16 arrows that we weighed, um, was, was the worst. There was a 12.4 grains per inch variance there. The Black Eagle was a 6.8, not too bad. Um, the victory was off the charts good. Um, between the 16 arrows that, we, that you're counting here, um, they were within 3.82 grains um, a weight, so unbelievable there how consistent these errors are weight-wise built. Uh, we get into the straightness, kind of see the same thing. The uh, gold tips were the furthest off at .0028. Um, all of these errors are supposed to be .001 straightness. Um, the Black Eagle was .0016, which is, you know, that, that's .001. And same with the Victory. 0.0015. Uh, so again, the victory was a little bit straighter, but the Black Eagle and victory really close. For the spine, um, the, black, the Black Eagle was at 307.81, which is, which is pretty high um, off. There, all these errors are supposed to be 300 spined. Um, the gold tip was 299.5, so that's really close. And the victory, 299.68, so that actually, um, the victory won in that category as well. And then we got into the penetration test. What we did is we got a brand new block target and we shot field points. The arrows, we got them within point four, or excuse me, we got them within four grains of each other. And so all the weights would be the same. And so we shot field points into a block target and we turned the target each time we shot to try and get as true a reading as we could. The gold tips did actually penetrate a little bit better than the victories um, at 16 inches of penetration. The victories had 15.8 and the black eagles had 15. So all three of them were real close in penetration, but the gold tip did actually win in that category. We also were going to do an accuracy test, but we didn't want to bring you something that was just half halfway um, being totally transparent. You got the human error involved and then the hooter shooter that we had, we just could not get it stable to shoot a good group, so we just cut that out altogether. Um, you know, I think based on these results with the tolerances of the victory eras, it's no question which one's going to shoot better because the tolerances are so much better in the victory than the Black Eagle and the Gold Tip. So this year we're going with the victory, and next we'll be taking these arrows and doing a bare shaft tune, and then we'll do our penetration test with our broadheads and uh, start putting the full build together. 
And I really appreciate you following along. Any questions, let us know. I know there's a lot going on there. Maybe we can put something up on the, on the YouTube video that shows all these numbers um, so you can see them. But um, pretty interesting. I, again, I thought Black Eagle was going to win this deal, and, and uh, the victory RIP or RIP TKOs is what we're going to be going with. So thanks for following, guys. Really appreciate it.